Hey everybody, in this video we're talking about WebLR, which is supposedly a fully automated AI website creator. Super interested to see how this works. We did jump on the big package, so we're gonna get to test out everything. This is gonna be more of an introductory type video, not really a full in-depth review, because I'm not gonna have time to go through everything right now. And currently, I don't think I'm going to be using the website we're gonna set up today on this platform forever. So I'm just testing out to see if I like it. I figure I might as well record it for everyone else. If it doesn't end up being something cool, we will do more reviews on it in the future and get in more in depth. This creates websites. Uh, you get unlimited website pages with the one we have, the advanced. Uh, I guess on the starter, you're limited to 10. And I guess you get 2,000 managed customers in the CRM. So I'm assuming that means like an email marketing system of some type. I don't know. We'll see when we get in there. Advanced website analytics. Not a big sale. Auto index on Google. That's nice. SEO optimizations. 100 generated social media posts per week. That is a lot. Up to 20 newsletter emails per month. So it does. it is the email. It's the social media marketing. And it's the website hosting. It's a, basically an all-in-one platform. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's also free stock images included. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, hopefully it's as good as it sounds. Most things aren't <laughs> from what I've, I've noticed in the software world. Um, but this is pretty cool. So it's, it's, an e it's a website builder. It's a social media uh, manager. And it's an email marketing system. So let's see how easy it is to set up. I've already bought the account. This is what you see when you log in. So we got the home over here on the left. Up here is how you get to, okay, that's how you get to your profile. Uh, here's your website. We have not created any websites yet. I've literally done nothing so far. Uh, here's the CRM. So we'll play around with that in a bit. We got our social medias. Looks like it does Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or X, whatever it's called these days. And so it does meta posts, LinkedIn posts, general stories, and Twitter posts. So it does the four big ones, I think. It's missing the the video ones, though. So that's interesting. It's not supporting the YouTube or uh, TikToks of the world. If that's, some, that's part of your business, you're still going to have to do something with another program. Okay, so here's your newsletter. Over here, we got brand. So this is where you put your brand information. We do not have a logo. The website we're using today is called Wines Uncovered. It's going to be a blog. Uh, I actually plan on doing a kind of uh, set up a, your first blog type little mini mini series so everybody that's interested can learn how to set up their own blog. It's going to be 100% free on the YouTube channel and uh, I'm doing I'm actually doing it for my brother and one of my friends that are interested so figure I might as well put it on the YouTube channel so it can help other people out but that's what we're going to be using the website we're using today for so it's not actually going to stay on Webular either way but I just wanted to test it out and it was kind of the only one I'm going to have public anyway so I get to show you everything. Uh, here's the business info. So you enter your business name, business description, and address. Okay. Oh, looks like that's a little weird. We'll use it to customize the content we create for you. So does it create the does it create the social media content for you? I didn't know that. If so, that's really cool. So you can set your language here. I only speak English because I'm not cool. You can add team members. We're not going to be testing that. I don't have a team. Uh, join our affiliate program. I did not know they even had an affiliate program. I am not an affiliate, just FYI. So here's their roadmap. Uh, we <laughs> encountered an issue. So their roadmap is not up. Uh, I remember when I looked at it the other day before I bought it, because I looked at this, I've been looking at this for about a month and a half now. I wasn't super impressed with the roadmap, but I was impressed with what they have right now or what they claim to have right now. So let's go ahead. I think we've explored everything we can. It's, it's very basic so far. So let's see what we can create. We're going to be using winesuncovered.com. And I'm assuming I'm going to have to adjust the DNS. That's why I have Namecheap open. That's where I keep my domains hosted. So let's click create a website. Business name is... Now this is... I do plan on making this a YouTube channel. It's not going to be connected really to the blog. The blog is going to be a general wine blog. Uh, the YouTube channel is actually just going to be wine tasting with me and my family because we like wine and we want an excuse to drink more. <laughs> so <laughs> that's really all the YouTube channel is. Uh, that's one reason I'm okay with going public with this uh, URL because I don't care 
uh, if people copy it, it doesn't bother me. I'm not doing this for anything but fun. This is a for fun kind of thing for YouTube, and I never intended to do the website in the first place, so that's just kind of bonus. Um, I don't know what they want us to do here. Location, we are in Kansas City. Okay, so this is uh, interesting. It actually shows you some of the examples down below uh, what it does with your location. So I don't know what it's going to be creating with the AI, but it's pretty cool that it has something like that. We'll see how nice it is once we get going. And there weren't any really tutorials when we were when I logged in. At least there was nothing that I, I remember seeing. I set up the accounts a couple weeks ago, and I don't remember anything popping up. So I'm just kind of finagling everything. They could probably use some tutorials in here because I really don't know what I'm doing. And I'm assuming it's building the website right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this actually looks pretty good. Okay, so yeah, it is building the website. So we got Wines Uncovered up here, the name, the About Us section. We'll check out these pages in a second. Hopefully it actually did it all. Our services, it didn't ask me anything about services. So it's just kind of assuming here. Uh, testimonials, which shouldn't exist. Questions and answers, gallery, a newsletter, and a contact us. I don't like the fact that it added a services up here when it didn't even ask me what services or if I provide services. So I'm assuming these are hyperlinks to sections, um, but let's scroll down for First and then we'll test to see if they're hyperlinked. I'm pretty sure they are. All right, so about us. Welcome to Wines Uncovered, your premier source for all things related to wine. Our mission is to provide the highest quality content to wine lovers everywhere, helping them to discover, learn, and enjoy all aspects of the wonderful world of wine. At Wines Uncovered, we strive to make learning about wine easy and enjoyable. Our team of experts is here to offer advice, answer questions, and provide guidance for discovering the perfect bottle of wine for any occasion. We have a wide selection of wine-related content, ranging from informative articles articles, helpful reviews, and engaging videos. We take great pride in the quality of our content and strive to ensure that it is interesting, informative, and accurate. Our goal is to provide our readers and viewers with the information they need to make informed decisions when it comes to buying and enjoying wine. Our blog and YouTube channel are regularly updated with interesting content, and we are always open to suggestions and feedback from our readers. We look forward to helping you discover the wonderful world of wine. Thank you for visiting Wines Uncovered. Not bad. I kind of regret uh, putting in what it was about. I could have put a lot more in there, and I think it could have guided this a little bit better. So probably our fault. Maybe we can redo it. I don't know. Okay, our services, wine tasting events. Ooh, that's a neat idea. We offer a range of wine tasting events for our blog and YouTube channel. That would be really cool. Do a group wine tasting instead of just, you know, a couple people. That's a neat idea. These events are designed to help our readers and viewers discover and learn about dot 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 and then wine reviews we provide comprehensive reviews of different wines from around the world to help our readers and viewers better understand the different types of dot 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 wine pairing tips we provide helpful tips and advice on how to properly pair different wines with different foods our tips and advice will include information on how to pair dot 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 okay so the our services section is actually pretty good i like that that's pretty neat uh, except I would uh, replace the wine pairing tips with probably like wine winery tours because I definitely plan on doing that too on the YouTube channel because I've just I, I like touring uh, vineyards for some reason it's it's enjoyable to me I like I like that kind of stuff so making YouTube videos of it would be perfect okay so testimonials I've been following this wine blog and YouTube channel for years even though it's made just today and it's always full of great information on the latest trends in the wine industry. Your videos make learning about wine fun and easy. Okay, I, you definitely would have to adjust some of the testimonials. Maybe get some real testimonials. That would be nice. Great way to get uh, testimonials for anyone that's wondering is uh, just talk to your friends and family. Uh, it's, it's very easy to get legit testimonials that way, or semi-legit, I should say. Questions and answers. This could definitely be expanded on. What types of wine does Wine Uncovered cover? Wines Uncovers... <laughs> oh, this is a tongue twister. Wines Uncovered covers a wide range of wines from around the world, including red, white, and sparkling varieties. We focus on exploring lesser known wines from regions like South America, Australia, and South Africa, as well as highlighting mid-range and high-end wines from more traditional regions like France and Italy. Interesting. 
Not true, but interesting. What kind of content can I expect from Wines Uncovered? Wines Uncovered offers both written and video content. Our written blog posts provide comprehensive reviews of various wines, including insights on flavor profile, food pairings, and purchasing tips. Our YouTube channel offers informative videos on topics such as how to pair food and wine, different types of wine glasses, and how to choose the perfect bottle of wine for a special occasion. Different types of yeah, different types of wine glasses. Not even on a, our list of topics to cover, but that's a good one. I'll have to add that in. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I would have to adjust the copy here, assuming we're keeping this. All right, does Wines Uncovered offer any other services? In addition to our blog and YouTube channel, Wines Uncovered offers private tastings and events. Our expert team can help you plan a unique experience tailored to your tastes and preferences. We offer both small and large group tastings, as well as educational classes and private dinners. Please contact us for more information and on these services. Okay, it embellished a little bit there. Here's a gallery. Okay, beautiful picture. I'm assuming they're stock photos. Yeah, these are great. I like those a lot, actually. I'll have to add that in on the... Uh, actual website when we're going to make it and then a simple newsletter uh, contact us and it is it looks like a yeah these are hyperlinked to the section so they're not actually pages uh not a big fan of that i definitely prefer pages i also don't like the about us being up top like this but not bad we're gonna go ahead and continue here even though I want to, I kind of want to go back and retry what happens if we change what we say it is. So maybe we'll go back and do that, see if it fixes some of this. So business description. Okay, so we got a different business description here. We put wine blog that covers all things wine related. Wine blog that covers all things wine related and a YouTube channel that, co that focuses on group wine tasting. I like that idea. By regular people and vineyard tours from around the world. Because I would love to travel and do vineyard tours. I feel like that would be fun. So we're going to go ahead and click the create. See what it comes up with. I want to see specifically if it changes the services. Um, and if it embellishes a little bit less. So the description may be fairly important here. Okay, so the... The hero image is very dark. Uh, I don't like that because you can't really see the menu here until you start scrolling down. It goes white. So I don't like that. That either needs to be changed or that needs to, the, the menu needs to stay white if that's the case. But anyways, uncover the world of wine with wines uncovered. Exploring the wonders of wine. Contact us. Okay, and it does still have services. About Us has a picture of a random guy with wine. Good looking picture. Uh, welcome to Wines Uncovered. We are premier wog... <laughs> Blog. <laughs> we are a, we are a premier wine blog and YouTube channel founded on the premise that anyone can learn about, enjoy, and appreciate wine. Oh, I love that. We strive to make learning about wine accessible and enjoyable for all. We provide content for every level of wine enthusiast, from beginner to expert. Our blog covers all things wine-related, from pairing wines with food to industry news and trends. Our YouTube channel focuses on group tastings of wines from around the world, as well as virtual tours of vineyards and wineries. I didn't say anything about virtual tours. I definitely plan to actually go. Whether you're a seasoned sommelier or a novice looking to explore Explore the world of wine. Wine's uncovered as something for you. Our mission is to educate and entertain, to foster an appreciation for the art and science of wine, and to make the process of learning about wine approachable and fun. Join us on our journey to discover the wonderful world of wine. I like that. It's good. Wine tasting videos. Our website provides a variety of wine tasting videos featuring regular people with different levels of experience. The videos range from group wine tastings to blah, dot. <laughs> dot 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 right. wine reviews our website provides okay so we did that and then wine education our website also provides educational resources to help readers better understand the world of wine this includes topics such as the different types of dot dot, dot. okay so it did fix what i hoped it would it took out the other stuff it added in wine education i do wish it did add it in the tours I, and, and i really did actually like the the group wine tastings i really like that idea as genius idea i'm going to steal that testimonials are bogus as they were last time okay so that's basically just what i put in the description with a little bit extra um it does say where we're located which is true that's where we're located uh, how often does wines uncovered post content um it did just make that up but apparently i now have to post weekly on the youtube channel that's not going to happen are the pictures the same? No, the pictures are actually different. Great pictures too. All right, and this looks good. We're gonna stick with this one. Um, so the description does matter 
quite drastically. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go to publish this one. It says it is not live, which is good. So let's go ahead and manage it. How do we do this? How do we connect the domain? Ooh, it looks so good on mobile. So I love that they have a mobile view over here and it looks like we can do different designs. Let's see what happens. Oh, so it just recreates it. No, okay, so it puts them, okay. Hmm, I wonder what that changes on the front end. Okay, so it put it side by side. No, that's not that one, that's this one. So I'll put it side by side. That does not look good right under services though, because it looks exactly the same. I would almost say let's put this down. Let's lower it. Let's go under the gallery. Okay, so we reordered it a bit. Actually, let's go under the newsletter even. Okay, and we have to click the publish button below to make it available. I'm gonna add the logo, publish your website, add useful links. We don't have a logo. Okay, so I've been messing around with this for a minute. I went ahead and made a logo on Canva real quick. It didn't take very long. That's, in my opinion, still the easiest way to make an okay logo. Obviously, if you want a good logo, go hire somebody that knows what they're doing. But if you want a cheap one that will work, like this one, Canva's your way to go. <laughs> I've been clicking around on here. I did fix the header here by how it was disappearing and going black before. That would not have worked very well with this logo, so I did have to change that just to white. It's very easy, you just click on the edit header. It'll take you to a page like this, and it auto saves. So it's very simple. The things to edit are very simple. I kinda wish there was a little bit more you could do. Um, so you can add sections, I have not tested that yet. And you can't really click to edit this stuff from here. So I was a bit confused. And then I finally looked up top here where it says website, we're under general. You can actually click over to content here and you can edit everything from here, including your menu, your intro section, or intro section, <laughs> your intro section. Um, it seems like everything. So we're gonna play around with this in a second, but let's go ahead and test out the other stuff real quick. We got the design tab here where you can turn it to uh, a dark theme. Okay, that looks horrible. I usually like dark theme. I don't like that one. It's probably because I changed that one. Um, you can do the text direction. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I can't imagine why you would do something like that. You can edit the colors. Looks like for some reason everything is purple. I kind of like it though, but maybe I'll do, let's change it to red and see what happens. Well, actually this, let's do dark red, kind of like a wine red. Yeah, that looks good. Let's do that. Let's stick with that. Uh, you can change your fonts. I actually have no issues with the fonts, so I'm gonna leave the fonts alone. Animations, you can't change animations, but it looks like that's coming soon. You got your analytics tab up here, your SEO. Okay, so this is your meta and everything. Interesting, and we can set up our favicon. Let's see if I can do that from, see if I can use that, see what that looks like. Uh, we'll check it out in a second. Okay, all right, apparently I accidentally published it. And then go over to settings. So the SEO, it looks like they fill it all in for you. That's pretty neat. Let's jump over to settings. Here's where you set your language, your translations. So, and this comes with, I believe, six, six languages. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it's going to translate it for you. If it doesn't, then it's completely useless to me and I should have gotten the pro. Um, but we got the advanced, so we're supposed to have six different languages available. I can't really verify any of this. So I'm going to leave that alone for now in this one. So let's do the domains. This is where you do your custom domain. Okay, we need to add a C record named www to value the automatic TTL. We're also going to do another one. It doesn't say to do this, but we're going to do it anyways. Generally speaking, that's what you have to do. Okay, so this is the website so far. The domain hasn't been connected just yet. And it did legitimately take 30 seconds for this one page website. Not super impressive, but not bad though. Not bad at all. All right, let's go ahead and continue down. You got your Google Analytics here. You got to put your tracking ID in. We're not going to bother with that for now. Facebook Pixel, same with that. Accessibility. Yeah, I don't know what this is, so we're going to leave that off. Cookie consent. So this is that thing that just kind of asks if you uh, are you okay with us storing your cookies. We'll want that for now. Okay, so you can add custom code here. That's nice. Kind of defeats the whole purpose of it being uh, AI though. And then you can regenerate the whole website or delete website from here. Okay, and it did take about 10, 15 minutes for it to finally kick in, uh, but it is officially on winesuncovered.com. And it looks pretty good. I have to admit, I'm somewhat impressed with it. It is very basic. So let's go ahead and go to the content, see what we can change. We're gonna mess around with the edit button, maybe even add a new page, who knows? 
So header, this is the header options. This is what I was messing with earlier. Here's the menu. And we're gonna take all of these off the menu. All right, we're gonna leave the about us, the join newsletter and contact us. And remember, this is going to be, this is going to be a blog. So we need to add a blog somehow. We don't want an external link though. So maybe we delete this for now. I think we have to go add a page. This is definitely not meant for a blog. I think WebLR is more meant for like a business page. Uh, so that's neat. It's very neat, but I don't think it's what we want for Wines Uncovered. So we will probably be changing this. Okay, so the intro section, it's got different options. You can go full screen like it is now. You can do the right sidebar okay and on mobile obviously it's going to look different than on desktop but this just kind of shortens it up i like the full screen for sure uh here's where you'd replace the image i wonder how easy that is extremely easy okay nice so let's search wine this is the free stock photos they were talking about from unsplash i really like this one now this is what it is now it's very dark let's go to the wine variety here Okay, so we switched the header. Let's go ahead and check out what that looks like. Everything else is pretty basic. You can change the overlay from light to dark to none. You can also ch adjust your buttons here. We're not gonna adjust that because it was just the contact us and that's pretty much what we'd want it to be or maybe visit the YouTube channel once it's created. It obviously is not created yet. Ooh, that lightened it up big time. So we may need to have to change that. Let's go ahead and publish real quick. I don't like that it has you share it every time. I don't like that. I don't like the feedback. It's quite annoying. So let's refresh up top. It did not go live with the new picture. There we go. That's actually too dark. So we need to go back in, change it to dark. There we go. That's much better. Now we're going to publish that. Annoying. There we go. All right. Hasn't updated yet. It does take a minute to update after you have published it. And here's the block. So it is kind of a block editor. You just drag and drop. Let's refresh this now. There we go. So it darkened it back up. It looks much better now. And these sections are all basically just blocks. Let's go and edit it. Okay. You can edit what it says. Section subtitle. So you can add your H1s, H2s, and H3s still. And I'm assuming this is just the background image or maybe not. Well, no, it isn't. That's weird. This is, this is going to be really weird to do blogs with. Once again, I know I've said that multiple times, but I don't think this is going to be a good blog platform. Click on that. Okay, so it's got blocks inside of blocks. Very neat. You can add a new one. Okay, so let's scroll down. What do we want to adjust? So if we wanted to adjust the About Us, we would do that here. I actually think it's pretty good. I'm not sure what it means by virtual tours of vineyards and wineries. I'm assuming it means like we would provide that and put it on the internet. I don't know. That would be neat though. Maybe like a 3D, take a 3D camera with you. Be neat, neat idea. Um, I'm not gonna change it for now because I, I do think that's pretty interesting. Uh, so let's leave that. Let's go to the services and features. All these are legit. I like them all. We're gonna keep them all. Questions and answers. I feel like it answered everything pretty good. Uh, although there's probably, yeah, there's probably gonna need to be more added to that over time. And then the pictures. Okay, so this is very easy to add more. So let's just go add one real quick. One, and there we go. We added a picture to the gallery. Very easy. Newsletter. I don't think we really need to change any of this. It's a very easy, simple website. So let's just go back and check out the footer settings. Everything's pretty basic. We don't need any custom footer text. The contact us. I'm wondering where it goes. The contact form of, yeah, where you get that. Maybe the CRM in here. I don't know. In a future uh, video, if we do any more on this, we'll probably have to put that to the test. Uh, same with the newsletter. See where the information goes. I'm assuming that goes to the CRM or directly to the newsletter. I don't know. Okay, so we got the home page. Let's go ahead and add a new page. We got to add in a blog. Page name is blog. Show link and menu, yes. Okay, just the intro section. And is there a dynamic? Okay, so here's the dynamic blocks. You got just regular text block, a real estate catalog. So this would be a great platform for a real estate agent for sure, because it's very easy to use. Uh, services and features, a calendar. So that's like a scheduling system. Image and text. So that was like the about us uh, block from before. You can add videos, testimonials, contact us, a map, gallery, team. That'd be good for an about us page. Clients, logos, uh, blog. That's what we want in the newsletter. So let's click on blog. Okay, subsection title, and then you add in articles. Post title, post description. I'm assuming this is the meta description. Keywords, cover image. All right, we're gonna go to ChatGPT. All right, we are here on ChatGPT. Yeah, we're gonna have it write for uh, a little mini article for this. 
That's terrible. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I'm doing something wrong when it comes to the blog because it I can't even seem to get there. So maybe I'll come back to this at a later time. Not impressed so far. So let's jump over. We're done with the website for now. Not impressed with the blogging features. I don't think it'd be a very good f system for blogging at all. It seems like a pain in the butt. But if you don't plan on posting articles on your website and it's just like a business page, I could see this working still. Okay, so CRM create a customer. I don't like the fact that you have to enter it in all manually, so I'm hoping when they enter the contact information, this is where they go. Uh, unfortunately, we can't test that, so let's move on to social media. Generate more. I have no idea what that button does. I just kind of figured I'd click it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so it does it does create posts for you. This is really cool. Um, it's creating it on my personal account, though, so that's weird. Must be logged in under my account. So you have to be logged in under, because it didn't ask me to connect any social medias. Okay, so let's have it generate again. Add a prompt. What is the post about? We are launching Yalar. Uh, we'll do friendly. No, we'll do, we'll do witty. See what happens, even though I misspelled web, website. Okay. We are so excited to announce the launch of our new wine website on Webular. We are confident that our customers will be able to find their favorite wines quickly and easily. So don't forget to check out our website to find your favorite bottle. Hashtag wine website. Hashtag new beginnings. Hashtag Webular. Let's toast to new beginnings. Cheers to the launch. This is actually pretty good. I like this. This is really good. I'm really impressed with the social media aspect. That is very nice. I love the fact that you can just generate a whole bunch of them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can go to specific ones and literally type what you want it to do. Like that, it just popped right in. That's really cool. Boom, edit. Okay, you can't change the colors, which I'm not a big fan of. Okay, some more designs here. So it has a bunch of templates it uses and they're, they're pretty good looking. Nice, okay. Pretty impressed with this one. Okay, I'm, I'm very impressed with their social media aspect to it. This would be insanely cool for a very simple non-techie uh, person to run. Uh, someone that doesn't like social media normally, uh, someone that can't really set up a website, uh, this would be invaluable for. So I like this a lot. Newsletter. Obviously we don't have anything in here. So you got your mailing lists here coming soon. So they don't actually have mailing list segregation yet. That's too bad. Connect your Google. To send emails, please first register your complete address below to comply with cans. Okay, so, okay. Why do you have to continue with Google? Okay, so it looks like they use Google as the main host. So you're probably gonna have to, if you want say support at winesuncovered.com, I use Zoho personally, um, so I actually have these emails already made. So I don't think I'd be able to use those with Webular. That's very interesting. Not a big fan of that. Google's Google's business email isn't crazy expensive. I think it's called G Suite. I oh, don't know, it's just called Google Workspace now, okay. I just wanna see the prices. Here we are, so it's $6 per month. Oh. All right, so rough, basically $6 per month for a business email from Google which isn't crazy. It's a little more expensive than I, I like to pay. Zoho is like, I want to say it's 15 bucks for a year. Could be even cheaper than that, to be honest. I'm not sure. I know it's very cheap. And the good thing about Zoho is you can have what they call group aliases and you can, so you have one email, you pay for one inbox and you can have all of these emails uh, being sent to one email box. So it's all very easy. You can look like you have multiple emails. You don't. So that's, that's pretty big especially if you're a, a a small time website owner like most people that start out uh, that's useful but with webular you do look like you have to use email uh, a google email so that kind of sucks not a huge limitation uh, but when you add it to their normal pricing i would say starters not even it might be usable for some people but most people would have to go for pro, which is $40. So it'd be $46 per month to run your business online. Keep in mind though, this is your social medias. Uh, it's your newsletters after you get the Gmail set up. So still pretty good value for most places. Not as cheap as WordPress. Um, WordPress, you could, you'd could you pay, depending on who you host with, Bluehost would be like a hundred bucks a year. So just take that into account. Not impressed with their newsletter. 
happy they have it. I don't get to test out a whole lot. They need, they really need mailing lists. That's going to make a big difference. They also need a tagging system with a, an email newsletter. But yeah, so here's where you set up your brands and your fonts. Um, we already did this earlier when we set it up. Here's the settings. You can check your subscription. You can change your subscription. You can add team members. Uh, okay, so it looks like you just invite them with their email. My plan includes up to three admins. Okay, so if you get the starter, you can't have any, you get one admin plus you. Okay, so it's counting me. All right, so starter, basically it's just you. Pro, you get one other person looks like, which should be fine. So get one other person to help you out on the website and then you have, you would have access as well. That'll work with most people. You can change your language. Overall thoughts of Webular is uh, it's completely useless for blogging. Don't try to blog with this if you have like, this would be perfect for like a lawn mowing business or something like that. Uh, this would be perfect for that because you're you're not going to want to be too techy. Uh, so this would be great for businesses. Uh, I'm actually going to delete this. I don't know if I'm going to keep this account. I'm definitely not going to keep it on Wines Uncovered. Guaranteed, this is not going to be... <laughs> I will probably use some of this copy on Wines Uncovered. I like some of it. It's a good looking website. It creates very, very simple and nice and clean looking website. I'm happy with the website build. Uh, I'm happy with the customizations. It's very easy to use. Simple block editors, uh, drag and drop for the most part. It's pretty good. Uh, you can add new blocks very easily. They have a nice variety here of blocks. You can set up a calendar sign up. Great for YouTubers, great for small businesses, not great for blogging. I do like the fact that they don't, they don't limit you on visits at all. There's no limits outside of uh, the CRM. And for most small businesses, you're not going to need more than 500 at a time. And the social media is actually very generous, 30 posts per week. That's per week. So that's 120 per month. Most people don't post that much on all their social media. So if you can just, if you just get the pro and you're maxing out your social media, you're going to get a decent following. And the best part is it does all the social media for you. You don't even have to create any of the posts. So this is really cool. I don't think it would be good for, I didn't see anything for e-commerce. So you can't do e-commerce on Webular. So I would say, yeah, small businesses, real estate agents, this would be awesome for. Uh, blogging, absolutely crap for blogging. Even if you can figure out the way they do the blog posts, it's not user friendly at all. Uh, I don't like it. And Frankly, when I tried to go to it, <laughs> it sent me to some crap. So the links busted. That didn't work at all. I got to do some more testing with it. I'm not super impressed with the speed of it. The app is fairly slow. I'm impressed with a few things, disappointed in a few things. I don't know, so let, let, let's grade it here. Uh, quality of website that it makes from AI is pretty good. It's fairly good. I've never had an AI create a website for me, so this is the first software I've... Uh, I'm testing that does that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven. It could be better. It was pretty darn good for as little information I gave it. I would like the option to feed it more information though. Maybe an option when it's building the website to select the sections you want included or the pages. Uh, I would love pages instead of just this. Uh, it needs to include the privacy page, all that other stuff. Uh, I would like the blog editor be to be useful. It's not. So AI creation. 7 out of 10. It could be better, but what it does do is is nice. It looks really good. The CRM, I can't really test because I don't have any customers in the system, so unfortunately I couldn't play around with it. I could add in a fake person. We'll do that real quick, I guess. At gibberish.com. Okay, save. Okay, so... And it froze. Okay. All right. So on your customer information, you can send newsletters. You can add an address. You can add notes. Um, it records all the messages. I don't know where you would actually talk to them at, but uh, yeah, okay. Not super impressed with that. Uh, the social media poster, I freaking love. I, I absolutely love this. I need this just by itself. So this is really cool. I ha I just bought one, hopefully is like this, but uh, this is what this is exactly the social media post I've been looking for. Unfortunately, it's on a platform that I don't think I'm going to use because I do blogs and that's really all I do. This unfortunately for me is kind of useless, but it is really neat. I would recommend it to anyone that doesn't create websites or do blogs. As long as you don't have anything to sell outside of services, I think this would do great. But if you sell products or mer merchandise and you don't want to do a different system like Shopify, this is probably not the best platform. 
Uh, if you want to get traffic through SEO, be prepared to struggle with the blog setup. It was not very intuitive. I didn't like it, uh, but I'm a WordPress user, so I could be a little bit biased. Uh, newsletter is very simple, a little too simple. So, uh, okay, so let's go back. CRM, uh, it's very basic from what I can tell. I didn't get tested out properly. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Uh, the social media poster is an 8 out of 10. It's fantastic. The only thing it's missing is the video platforms. It's missing TikToks. It's missing YouTube, stuff like that. So, But as far as the text stuff, it's really good. I like, I like the templates. They look good. The copy is really good, and it does it all for you. All you do is click on the post you want to make, tell us what you want it to be, and it actually populates for you. You choose the tone of voice and you click generate. You can't get any easier than that. That's eight out of 10. Honestly, if they had more options and, and maybe it was done, I don't know. And being able to connect certain pages would be nice. I think that would be way better. So actually I'm gonna change it to seven out of 10 because it, it really needs to be able to do that. It needs to be able to add groups and add, uh, like for Facebook, it needs to add groups and business pages. Yeah, I, I think that would make it a lot better. Uh, newsletter, it you, goes through Google and looks like that's the only option. I could be misunderstanding this, but I don't think I am. So a little disappointed in that one. Do not like that. Uh, the branding and the business information is cool. Uh, for the price though, I think it's a little bit on the expensive side. Uh, you do get a lot for what you're paying for. The website builder is very simple. I would recommend that for, for this. Uh, the social media poster, is very good. CRM, I'm not super impressed with, but for most basic businesses, it should work fine. I didn't get to test out the analytics, obviously. Uh, it shows that I had visitors. I mean, so it is tracking stuff, but you know, I, I can't look at much else, unfortunately. Uh, auto indexing on Google, I don't think is going to be a whole lot of value for this platform because you can't really post articles very easy. So that's going to be, while it's a nice thing, and so is their SEO optimization. It doesn't really do you any good if you can't post articles with any kind of decent ease of use, I guess. Yeah, uh, the 30 generated social media posts is probably the highlight of this software. I think that is the, I mean, if it was an AppSumo deal, that would be what I would consider the golden taco. Actually, I think this was an AppSumo deal. So that is the best part of this, in my opinion. It's the thing I like the most. Uh, the newsletter system, basic. I don't like it. I would actually probably use something else. I don't like the fact that you only get two admins for $40. I feel like $40 a month is a lot of money to only get one other person to help you out. You do get free stock images. You get free SL or SSL certificate, which is cool, but you get that free with a lot of hosting, including Bluehost. Chat support and email support, didn't have to use those. So uh, I don't think you'll need to either. It's very simple to use. So if you're interested in Webular, I'm going to have the links down below. I will not be an affiliate for this system because I won't be using it. I'm going to be honest with you. I might keep the software. Um, I may do something with it in the future. I don't know. But I won't be using it for any of my blogs. That's for sure. I won't use it for any of my e-commerce stores. That's for sure. Yeah, something like a rental business would be perfect for this. Blogging's a no-go for me. And considering that's what I do in my business, unfortunately that's where i gotta leave it thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this at least got to see something new uh even if it's not something you could use either uh, i'm in the same boat trust me uh it is neat though so if you want to go test it out yeah go to webular.com and they do look it uh, looks like they do have a 14-day trial and you can cancel any time i guess uh, the price is per website and if you don't remember the pricing it starts at twenty dollars uh, per month goes all the way up to $80 per month. Uh, I would not recommend the $80 per month unless you're like a real estate agent. If you need more than 10 pages, I would recommend the pro. But if you're just a starting out business and you only need a business page to show off your stuff, the starter should work for most people outside of blogging and outside of e-commerce. You get 10 web pages, which is fine. And you still get 10 social media posts per week, which is still quite a bit. That's 40 a month. Most people don't post that in a month at all so but yeah the uh create a website in 30 seconds using artificial intelligence that is legit it's possible it exists and it's pretty good <laughs> one last look at the website before it goes down uh, i did mess up the menu that wasn't uh webinar that was me i messed that up um but yeah pretty good looking website took me 30 seconds to build not too shabby that's it for this one thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next video